Hey, what's going on guys? More Medic One. Today, we're gonna to talk about fuel pumps. Whether it be the Makuni style like this one, it's rebuildable, or the little black plastic or white Kawasaki style fuel pumps, Briggs and Stratton plastic non-rebuildable fuel pumps. Let's go over these because I've got some information I need to let you know about. One of the biggest mistakes that I see on these fuel pumps is that they are hooked up wrong. Um, you can hook them up wrong. You can get these two mixed up and it won't pump fuel. This line that goes to this diaphragm chamber here is the pulse hose that goes to your crankcase of the engine. And here is your inlet and your outlet. This goes to your fuel tank and this goes to your carburetor. This is your atmospheric pressure relief vent. If you ever get any fuel coming out of here, the fuel pump is done, it's time to rebuild it or replace it. And then let me show you why. The way this thing works, let's just go ahead and get it broke apart here. have your diaphragm from your pulse hose acting on the back side of this diaphragm and this diaphragm is going to pulse up and down with the pulse signals from your engine and what that's going to do if this diaphragm fails here is that pressure relief that I was talking about but guess what fuel can run right down that hose straight into your crankcase. Moving forward, we have the fuel chamber here that's going to have two check valves. One check valve is inverted and one check valve is in its normal position. If you flip this over, it's going to be just the exact opposite on the other side. So whenever this engine is running and pulsing, you got your pulses here acting on this diaphragm. It's pulling fuel up, it fills this chamber up, and then the fuel pushes down through this check valve and fills this chamber up, which pushes the fuel out to your carburetor. The backing plate and gasket keeps these two chambers separate if this gasket was to fail, you could have bleed over into each chamber and it just wouldn't work. You might be wondering, you know, hey, where does the pulse come from inside the engine? Well, every time that your rotating assembly makes a cycle, the bottom side of your piston, when it goes up, that creates a low pressure area inside the crankcase and whenever the piston is coming down inside the crankcase that's when you are building your pressure in the crankcase that's why we have a crankcase uh, vent or a breather just to relieve that pressure inside the engine now if you have an engine that is has a ton of uh, blow by that could cause an issue with keeping the crankcase pressured all the time and not giving this fuel pump the proper, uh, you know, crankcase pressure and vacuum that it needs to operate properly. So if you have a wore out engine, it may not have enough, you know, crankcase pressure and crankcase vacuum to operate this fuel pump. I've had a lot of people complain that uh, they replaced a fuel pump and they say when they crank the engine, the fuel pump isn't working, but however it is, but you could have a, an issue downstream from the, uh, the inlet from here, this goes to your gas tank, uh, 
sometimes they put the fuel filter before the fuel pump and they'll either put a filter after the fuel pump either way works the same but you need to check and make sure that this gas line from here to the tank doesn't have any holes in it pinholes it's not leaking because whenever you crank that engine it should automatically these are self priming you shouldn't have any issue getting fuel to this if you have to crank and crank and crank and crank then you've got some issue downstream from the fuel pump somewhere because it should not take a whole lot of cranking to get this thing primed up Alrighty guys, well I hope that this little demonstration on this Makuni style fuel pump helped you out. Like I said, if you're getting fuel out of here, you're possibly, well I don't want to say possibly, you are going to get fuel into your crankcase from the pulse line. If you've got gas in your oil, check this and check your carburetor needle and seat. If the needle and seat on your carburetor is not working properly, it's just going to flow the fuel right from the carburetor down into your cylinder and all that gas is going to leak by the rings or depending on which uh, position the engine is in you could have uh, the intake valve open and this fuel can just pour right down the valve guide as well but anyway guys hope this helped us out give me a thumbs up and we'll see you guys on the next one more medic one have a great day.